Uh, it's Mr. Burke here. I'm just going to take you through another uh, word problem that requires simultaneous equations to solve it. So, on the screen we have a problem about Jane who's selling fruit from her orchard and the question is if she sells two oranges and three apples for two dollars fifty five and five oranges and seven apples for six dollars ten what does she charge for one orange or for one apple now the first step as you recall from the last video is to stop and think about the problem and see if you can define work out what will be your two pronumerals your two variables that you want to put into equations and then solve those two equations. So I'll just stop the video for a minute and you have a think about it and then we'll come back. Okay, we're back live. So hopefully you thought of something like this. So the way I'll put it is let x, the first pronumeral, equal the cost of one orange in cents. Now that's really important m point to note. I've just done that. You could leave it in dollars but then you'd have decimal points in your equation which can be a little bit harder to work with. So often it's better to use what we call the smallest units when you have some an equation like this with units in it because then it's easier to get whole numbers. So and then we'll let y be the cost of one apple and again in cents all right so now if we go and define write down some equations after a bit of looking at the problem we can see that when she sells two oranges and three apples it's two dollars fifty five. So that can be expressed as our first equation, which would be two times x, which is the cost of one orange, so two oranges, and then we add to that the cost of three apples, which is y. And that's in cents, don't forget that is two hundred and fifty five cents or a dollar fifty five. So let's call that equation one. Similarly, we're told that she sells five oranges and seven apples for six dollars ten. So that means that five x plus seven y equals six hundred and ten cents. And that's our second equation here. So now the next step is to work out what method can we use elimination substitution or even if you want graphical but for me I'm going to choose to try and eliminate to try and eliminate X now this is a bit trickier because what I first have to do is I have to get the X's here multiplied by the same number so that then I can either add or subtract the two equations to get rid of the x's. So I have to, I can, for example, I'll choose to multiply equation 1 by the factor that's multiplying x in the second equation, 5 and then I'm going to do the opposite with equation 2 and then they'll both have the same coefficient so if I multiply both sides of equation 1 always remember to do both sides so we get 10x plus 15y is equal to a rather large number which is 5 times 255 and that's 1275 I believe you can check that on your calculator Alright, so if you like you can call that equation 3, that's what I'll do, but you could say that it's still equation 1. 
it's just you've just multiplied both sides but let's call it equation three and the second thing I want to do is multiply equation two by two and again the reason I do that is because two is the number multiplying x in the other equation so I'm going to get a common factor multiplying x in both equations by doing this so here I get multiplying everything in equation 2 by 2 I get 10x plus 14y is equal to another very large number but you've got your calculators handy I'm sure so you'll be able to work out that that is 1220 Good, so next step, we'll go into a different colour just to show you we're on to the next step. But first, let's just label that as a 4, as I said. Equation 4, you could consider it still as equation 2 if you want, as long as you don't get confused. But I'm choosing to label those two multiplied equations as 3 and 4. Okay, so now. I am in a position where I can eliminate the x's using the elimination method. So let's do that. Let's subtract 4 from 3 to eliminate x. And that is going to give us then the x's cancel out. We get 15y minus 14y, so that nicely comes out as just y. And again, it's probably a calculator job, but you, you may be able to spot without a calculator that you've got. 1,275 take away 1,220 and we're left with 55 and that's why I chose to subtract 4 from 3 rather than the other way around because that way apart from going down the hill which is nice I got a positive number on the right hand side so this is an important point in our process we've got what we think is the right answer for y which is of course the cost of one apple in cents so we believe Jane's charging 50 cents for one apple but we've still got a bit of work to do to keep on going let's just make sure we've got the right answer and to complete the other half of the answer good so now we have to substitute value that we got for y into one of the equations. It shouldn't matter which one, let's choose 1. I suppose you could use 3 or 4 if you wanted, but we'll choose good old 1 because it has smaller coefficients, smaller numbers multiplying the x's and y's. So here we get 2x plus 165 that's you can work that out in a calculator it's equal to 255 so now we can use our linear algebra skills again to subtract 165 from both sides and we'll get 2x is equal to what we will find with our calculator or doing it on paper or in your head even we'll get 2x is equal to 90 and we divide by 2 and we get x is equal to 2 to 45 
Now that sounds reasonable. So again, we think that Jane is charging 55 cents for apples, which is Y, and 45 cents for oranges, which is X. But before we leap in and write that as our answer in words, let's just do a check. So we've already put the value for Y into equation 1, so we just have to check in equation 2. Equation 2 is 5x plus 7y equals 610. So we've got 5 times 45 plus 7 times 55, those are quite large numbers, but at least they're whole numbers, is equal to 610, we hope. And when we do this on our calculator or some other method, we get 225 plus 385, which is equal to 610. You can check that for yourself. So, we've got the right answer. The last step then, we're just going to write, so the cost of one apple is 45 cents, one orange set up the cost of one orange is X don't forget which is 45 cents that's why it's good to record everything step by step I nearly made a mistake there and the cost of one apple is 55 cents so that's quite a long and reasonably involved word problem just worked out for you there on the board I'll give you a chance to write all that down of course you can stop the video to do that and then the final thing again is just to go to the problems and this time I suggest you can try a few of these because those all involve costs of items in some way, similar to that one we just did with the apples. So I hope you've enjoyed the video.